seen Andrew Charles, okay? Um, you know, um, our first player I'm going to announce, she's not here, she's at a soccer tournament down in North Carolina. I think she's on her way home, but a uh, yeah. uh, very, very good player. She, she's a young eighth grader. Uh, I think she probably is almost most of the seventh graders, but she's, she's playing a year up. She's an excellent soccer player, probably our most, most coachable player. This is a girl who uh, I, I always doubted my coaching ability. We'd show girls stuff to do and, and you never see it happen, right? <laughs> With Eric Perry, we would show her, she'd work on it, she would demonstrate it in practice, and the very next game, she would do it in a game. So it, it, it kind of helped us realize that some of our coaching is getting through. She was the first and only that was coachable. A hard-working kid, plays great defense, and, and again, we'll be missing her tonight, but uh, we'll catch up with you later this week, right? Yeah. And, uh, and uh, this is Erica's sister, Miranda. <laughs> for the ball in basketball. She's always around the ball, always in the middle of the action. Her best basketball days are ahead of her. I mean, she's going to be heading off to either Bill Joe or Pennington. Right? You guys have the side. One or the other. Right? And I guess they're both going together to make it all separate. I don't know. <laughs> Sad moment for me. I, I, uh, there's, there's a lot of, of, of players and siblings that come through the program. I had four straight years of ego. <laughs> and, and excellent players, okay? Uh, but you got to go on. And it's both of them. Uh, is uh, one of our most athletic players. Uh, a strong rebounder, a very good. Uh, very good offensive player. She was uh, twice this year in tournaments, was, was named to the all tournament team, including St. Helens, which is against very, very good competition. So it gives you an idea of where you stand. You have an excellent season, and, and, and this team is as good as you are. Chicago's going to the Village Hill also. She's got a sister there now, too. So. Okay, Sarah is a uh, eighth grader. She, this is her second year with us. Uh, probably one of the better shooters we've ever had. I mean, she was a great shooter when she came to us, and we haven't screwed you up. <laughs> <laughs> but the one thing about Sarah is her defensive ability has improved tremendously. Every game, uh, every year, you become a stronger and stronger uh, defensive player. And that, that'll help you a lot. Uh, Sarah will be heading to Council Rock North. North. Right. Kaylin's uh, another two year player for us. Um, played very meaningful minutes with us last year. She was one of the first players off the bench as a seventh grader. Uh, team leader is an eighth grader. Uh, what we like about Kaylin is she plays every position on the floor. We can put her in the post, we can put her in the wing, we can put her out of guard. She plays whatever we ask her to do and she plays it very, very well. Okay? We're having a great year and Kaylin's also uh -huh. Another two-year player. Uh, her best game last year was probably in, in the Archdiocese game against St. Pete's. Came off the bench, scored a bunch of points, made the game competitive for us. Uh, at that point in time, we knew she was going to be a very good eighth grade player. Probably the best post player that we've coached in terms of footwork and knowledge of the game. She's got excellent footwork for a post player. Uh, whatever, I mean, your high school coach is going to, going to love when he sees you around the basket, okay? Um, 
And the other thing that McKenzie does for us is she's the last line of defense. So if our guards make mistakes, McKenzie usually makes up for it. She's, she's a great defender around the basket and covers up all the mistakes the guard makes. Mackenzie is also a good right? Okay, and last but not least, Megan O'Neill. Yeah. 